Hey there, this is John Tang and I'm the founder of Midlife Magazine and today I'm in Culver City. It's a beautiful Southern California morning and this is a men's physique competition. Just got finished with the pre-judging about a half an hour ago and have about four or five hours now before final judging. Other people lining up their respective um, bodybuilding classes to be judged. So it's a fun day. I'm so grateful for my wife being able to watch the four kids while I go have my fun and do this, but this is just the way that I found to keep in shape. If I don't have some type of target, some type of stage to get on, I just kind of float around. And so this concentrates my, my diet, concentrates my sleep, concentrates my exercising. And the end result, I think, is something pretty remarkable. And certainly I see lots of room to improve my own physique. And so show by show, just constantly improving. You know. In middle age especially, so many distractions that we have to take us away from taking care of ourselves. We have our businesses, we have our children, we have our parents. There's an there's innumerable amount of distractors at this phase of life. But what's important is to take some time. If it's selfish, so be it. Take some time for yourself. If you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of other people? Just like on an airplane, they tell you to put the oxygen mask on yourself before you help the people around you. You must take care of yourself, especially during this phase of life, this midlife phase. So whether it's golfing, whether it's playing tennis, whether it's just walking around the block, whether it's every day, whether it's once a week, just set that consistent pattern. And over time, you're going to notice that you're improving. As I mentioned, certainly I see lots of things that I can improve with my own uh, physique, my own health. But that's the target, you see, so we just keep moving forward and constantly, constantly improve. I'm so grateful to be able to have the ability to walk around and to make a choice to get out of bed and to get exercise and to have health so that I can then take care of all the other aspects of my life. I challenge you, do the small things. Don't try to hit a home run. You don't need to get on a stage and compete or do anything like that, but you must take charge of your health and be a little bit selfish to be able to do those things to help maintain your own peace of mind. When you have health, your mind will feel better, your spirit will feel better, and you're more of capacity to be able to help other people. So, a few hours here before we go into finals, and I'm gonna be working on a book in my car here. This is The Hero's Journey for men and women 35 to 65, helping them understand that this phase of life, regardless of what type of trauma or crisis you may have experienced thus far in your life, this can mark the very beginning of the exciting new phase of your life. The Hero's Journey is what it's called. Look for it, it'll be out here shortly. And um, you can enjoy the rest of the day.